welcome back nail queens in today's video i'm going to be using these three colors to do a mani and it's interesting because it's giving me very much like gender reveal vibes but i love pink and blue they're like my two favorite colors especially when they're mixed together so i'm gonna do a pink and blue mani and i'm gonna have a glitter ombre on my middle and my ring finger All three of these colors that I'm showing in this video are going to release today at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're interested in snagging any of the new Soul Dips launch, I definitely recommend you have your list written down and you go to the website, set your alarm and all the things because I have a feeling a couple of the colors are going to be fan favorites and are going to sell out pretty fast. Soul does an incredible job at restocking all of her colors. Minus the exclusive, because usually that's a once it sells out, it doesn't come back situation. But she does an incredible job at restocking all the other mainline colors. So if something is sold out today, definitely, I would say, place your order for everything else that you want, just so those don't sell out. And the next time it comes back in stock, order again. She's truly an incredible business owner. She has amazing colors. That's why you guys see me feature her so much on my channel. I'm just like so incredibly in love with her colors, her creativity, and she's one of those dip powder business owners that just like, when I look at her powders, not only are they beautiful, but they're unique and they're so fun. So the solid colors that I'm working with today are buildable coverage. So if you do two dips, which I usually do, you might notice a little bit of translucentness, but if you do three dips, it's definitely going to give you a more fuller coverage. Mind you, these are gorgeous shimmer shades, so they're not going to be like completely opaque like a solid dip powder, but I like how light they are, and they're going to be perfect for spring and summer, especially this blue. I can see myself wearing it multiple times throughout the year going into spring and summer. So I did three dips of the shimmer shades on my nails and now I'm going to do a glitter ombre on these two fingers. So I just applied dip base over the entire nail and I'm taking an eyeshadow brush and sprinkling it at the tip of the nail. And I do like to rotate my finger left and right so that the side walls also get covered and glitter. And if you feel like there's not enough coverage in the chunkier pieces, so the medium and large pieces of glitter, then you can definitely hand place those. So you're gonna see me do a little bit of hand placing. I'm using this precision tool here and I'm just pushing things around, adding a little bit of base, adding a little more glitter. So don't feel like you have to add more layers of base and keep sprinkling. Sometimes you just have to hand place things. This glitter is a gorgeous mixture, but it also has great blue and pink and little pieces of green glitters in here. So I wanted to make sure that my ombre really featured all of the colors, all of the unique elements, which is why I really focused on hand placing glitter pieces everywhere. I noticed that not a lot of the green got on the nail when I ombre it, so I definitely had to hand place those. But if I just dipped in the glitter, like a full dip, it would have picked up all of the colors.
now is the best part of every single manicure and it's protecting all of your hard work. So I'm going to apply dip base to the nail and dip it in clear powder. I highly recommend you do this even if it's a solid, even if it's a shimmer. As we go into the spring and summer season and people are using those more like highly pigmented, brighter shades, it is so possible and easy to accidentally buff through the color and then you're going to notice it gets lighter and it looks almost white. You're like, why did this pink turn white? Because we're buffing through the pigment. I can't explain it. I'm not a scientist or a mixologist or colorologist. Is that even a thing, a colorologist? <laughs> I don't know. But um, all I'm saying is protect all of your hard work and encapsulate in clear dip powder. So I'm practically done with the dipping portion. I just need to activate, file, shape, and buff, and I will be doing that off camera. So here is my post filing, shaping, and buffing, and all I have to do is add a top coat. So the magic of editing means this is going to be done in like two seconds. So here are outdoor views of my Manny. I love how this turned out. This glitter is incredible. Please add it to your carts if you guys like pink and blue because it's just that. It's so precious and gorgeous. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.